This is Chateau Neuf de Pop Grand Reserve 2011 from Philippine de Saint Cyril. So, this is a wine made by a, um, a negotiant in Chateau Neuf. And negotiants are uh, wine producers that don't necessarily uh, make the wine or own vineyards or grow the grapes or any of that sort of thing. They, um, they source the wine. And in some cases they'll source grapes or they'll source uh, juice or uh, various techniques. But when you have a vintage that's not a great vintage, a um, couple things happen. 2011 was one of these vintages that, um, you know, weather is always an issue for uh, growing grapes, but sometimes uh, you'll have one weather event that will just wipe out a portion of the, um, of the crops. You know, you'll have a frost that will freeze the vines, or you'll have a hail storm or something like that. So 2011, you had one of these weather events. What it does is it reduces the um, quantity of everybody's production but it also uh, affects the quality of the production. And so, because everybody's got less wine, usually the prices go up. <laughs> and so prices keep going up in France, and you know, we're gonna see a lot of that, because you know, 11s, 12s, 13s, they, they had some very difficult vintages um, in terms of quantity. But in this case, um, the negotiant kind of locks out because you're going to find some producers that, ha that are making maybe some of the best wines in the region, right? And they're going to find that some of their production doesn't quite meet their standards. Maybe really good wine, <laughs> but it's not up to what they're willing to put in the bottle. And so along comes the negotiant. He buys that wine, and he's able to buy uh, maybe a couple or a few different lots of that wine, put it together, and bottle it under his label. And what you end up with is a wine that's pretty darn good in a vintage that's, that's challenged. And in fact, not only is it pretty darn good, but it can come in at a pretty good price, too. This is what we have here. It smells really nice. I got berries. I got spice. I got nice chocolate notes on there. It's a really nice, very typical red roan kind of nose. Little herbal notes. Some of that, uh, you know, uh, garrigue they talk about. Let's taste. Yeah, so medium bodied, fairly supple, but really good, really nice pervasive flavors. I get a nice um, sort of cedary note, um, along with those berry notes, dark chocolate. It's got a nice structure, but for the most part, it's pretty supple. You know, give it a little air and it's gonna drink beautifully. And you can match it up with, uh, you know, full bodied, hearty fare. <laughs> So that's how you find a good wine at a good price. <laughs> Happy drinking.